1963. Okay. Uh, President Kennedy was assassinated. And, and I'm sure you've heard stories about that, the, the incredible impact that that had on the entire nation. You've got to remember back then, uh, there weren't alternative media, really. There were, there were only three TVs, three networks. It wasn't even PBS yet. Okay. And all you could do was watch this, you know, the aftermath, you know, on the TV, hour after hour. But what I want to talk about here is that on Sunday of that weekend, this is November 24th, 1963, the accused assassin of, of President Kennedy, Lee Harvey Oswald, was being transferred from a Dallas jail to a county jail. And, a man, as, and this is broadcast on, on live television, and a man by the name of Jack Ruby jumped out of a crowd of reporters with a stub-nosed revolver and at point-blank range shot him dead, live on television. Well, my mother's reaction, this is what I want to talk about, was, gee, I hope he's not Jewish. Well, indeed, he, he was, his birth name was Jacob Rubenstein, and he was actually a, 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 you know, connected to the mafia, the mob, he was a nightclub owner and what have you. But at the time, I remember that very vividly, at the time when she said, I hope he's not Jewish, I thought, oh, well, yeah, you know what, you know, it's embarrassing, you know, for, for a Jew uh, to, be, to have done this and what have you. But then it was years later again, you know, again when I had this kind of this, my knowledge of the history and what have you, I kind of realized there was more there. That I think it was a real fear she had of anti-Semitism, that Jews historically were always blamed for bad things that happened and often became victims because of that. And this is not that long after World War II. Um, polls during World War II showed, in this country, opinion polls showed that Jews were considered more objectionable than Germans and Japanese except for the first year of the war, 1942, when it was freshest in American minds. And I think there was a lot of that. And I think it was a real fear of, of not, 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 as a kid, I didn't know from anti-Semitism. I was living in this great leave it to beaver, Jewish leave it to beaver kind of bubble where anti-Semitism was something that happened in the old country, in Europe, in Nazi Germany and so forth. But I think that's what it was. You know, my mother told me years later she voted for Nixon. In 1960, I said, "What, Mom? You voted for Nixon?" And and I think she never explained. I think it's, it might have been because that John Kennedy was Catholic, and she, rightfully or wrongly in this case, I think associated Catholicism with anti-Semitism. But maybe even more important, and I don't know if she had the sophistication or not, the knowledge or not. John Kennedy's father, Joseph Kennedy, was a known anti-Semite. And when he was ambassador to England, he was pro-Hitler. Okay. She may have known that and just decided she would vote for Nixon because the Kennedys were quote-unquote anti-Semites. The irony, of course, was that Nixon was a classic anti-Semite. We know that because of his Watergate tapes. He's talking in the Oval Office, talking about the Jews and this and that and what have you. I always found that that was ironic. 